Hi and welcome to 2017 paper one of the junior shared higher level. Uh, it's question eight uh, we're looking at now. And A and B here are marked together for 15D marks. So it's a good chance to get somewhere in the middle or, or upper. And this question is kind of coded geometry slashed, you know, with just general um, knowledge as such. We can all read graphs um, the, just you know, read properly and make sense of the notation is the hard part, okay? So I would suggest you stop the video here, pause it and just work and see can you do the answer from the screen. Uh, if you want to email me at chaintry at gmail.com, I'll send you on the soft copy of the set of notes with the question screen grab and then the answer, you know, on the next page, whatever. So let's, let's get stuck in. Question eight, a school can get its electricity from one of two companies, Buzz or Lecky. The graphs below show the cost of the electricity per month for each company. Uh, if the school uses X units of electricity, the cost from Buzz is described as B of X. Okay, and the cost from Lecky is L of X. So you have your graph here. Now you'll see, just from looking at it, looking at any of the questions, whatever, that the graph for Buzz is linear. Okay, it has a starting point of, what's that, 150 here. Uh, slope is going up. Let's take it somewhere that's easy to read. Actually, that's probably the best thing. So the rise over the run. Okay, that's the rise there is what a 50 over goes across uh, 200. Put that right there. So that's the rise over the run of 50 over over 200. It should be a quarter. Okay. So right now I could make the linear equation there. Um, uh, y equals what was it 50x? Uh, um, sorry, no quarter x. So this is 50 over 200 x, which is a quarter. That's the slope plus the where it starts on the y-axis is not zero. It's actually it's 50. That's it. Okay. Now I may, I, I most certainly will need that for part of the question. Now the L of X graph, you see there the price goes up and then levels off. At some point here, there's a point of intersection here where they cost the same and here where they cost the same. From here on, okay, for this first bit, Lecky would be cheaper. Then it gets more expensive, but comes back cheaper uh, the more you eat over 800 units. So basically this what's happened with the graph, okay. I'm going to discard those things off the page. Um, we look at the question. One of the companies charges a fixed fee each month, plus a fee for each unit of electricity used. Okay, now that's the uh, the Buzz company. Okay, because they, they start at any, any, you're basically paying 50 um, euros per month, just even if you didn't turn the lights on at all. Okay, whereas with Lecky, if you didn't turn the lights on and no, use no power, you'd have no, no, no bill. Stay which company charges no fixed fee. Give a reason for your answer based on the graph. So now, careful, they're saying no fixed fee. If I didn't read it properly, I could easily have gone, um, because I was thinking that way, have said buzz. But the answer would be Lecky. Now, the reason is that they, their graph starts from the origin. Okay, except the y-axis is at zero, uh, or showing that B of X has a fixed fee of 50, although I, that one I think would be better to go with, just in case there's any, any um, unclear, you know, well, not clear enough, whatever. Now, sorry, part B there says, write down the domain and range of the function B of X, as shown in the diagram. Now, they're both the same range, okay? Uh, they're going, sure, both the same domain. They're going from zero as far as a thousand. So now, domain is the X values, and the range is the Y values. By writing X and Y over them, you got you got marks anyway for that definitely. So you said there now the range for the domain is zero. You could use that's the best way to write it. The way I have it written here, but zero to a thousand would probably get the marks. I'll check the marking scheme in a minute and show you and see if there was a deduction for not having it in this format. They don't say to leave it in that format. Now the range there is from where it goes up. So it's the B of X. As far as three two five. So that's three hundred twenty five fifty. Okay, so. BVX goes as far as there and starts off here. Actually, starts off, be careful, starts off the 50. So that's the range of the BVX. Okay, so I'm describing that 50 uh, to 325. Uh, yeah, tricky. Okay. Now, um, actually, I'll check the markers for it now. So, question 8. Do this safe, not the right format. No, it seems you, if you gave it in uh, just your zero to a thousand, 
you'd, you'd get rid of that or you get the max. I don't see anything taken away from that. Okay. Anyway, now so part uh, C here. Okay, C1 and 2 are marked together. The 5D scale here. Use the graphs to estimate the set of values of X as an element of R, so basically all the values of X, uh, for which B of X is less than L of X. Now that X is an element of R is kind of put in to cover their proverbials. Um, in, just for mathematic reasons, it really has no effect on your answer. Okay, I'm not the one that can see offhand. I've written the excuse the answers. Okay, so I've drawn in this line here. That's with this commonality. Okay, at the um at the base in between those two points. Okay, so the that, that can be written as from what what a uh, hundred on the x. As far as 800 on the on the x there, okay. So that little bulb in the middle. And part two then. So go back. Okay. Explain what your answer to part one means about the cost of electricity from Buzz and Lecky. Okay. Now, let's see. Uh, so I've said this already, but I'll say it again. Lecky is cheaper than Buzz for the first hundred years. So this period here. Then. Lecky gets more expensive, okay. Bose is rising, but it's rising at a steady amount. Lecky's getting more expensive. At some point, that starts to level off. Lecky, you know, the cost is not going up as steadily, but uh, Bose is. At this point here, um, over 800 units, Lecky is cheaper than Bose. So in a big thing like a school, it might be smarter to go with Lecky, even though, you know, if you're going to be a household using less units, it might be uh, smarter to go with Bose, okay. Um, okay, so that's the part C. Now part D, 1 and 2 are marked together as well, so it's a 10D scale here. Find the slope of the graph of P of X. Now we've done this already. Okay, it's linear, so it's easy to find the slope of rise over run. So I've written it there. Uh, I've taken actually the entire thing here, this kind of screen grab the graph area. I just took the small little triangle here. This is to be the same answer. Okay, um, it's 275 over 1000, which is a quarter. Okay. Divide that in here, you get 1 over the f 2, 275 into, actually, that's not a quarter. I'll go back here now and see what I did. The graph here. It's going up 50 over, okay, what was that? 50 over 200. So um, that's that's the slope. Am I going wrong here? So let me the uh, confusion here. Am I reading this wrong? That's two. I've read that wrong there. That's for the B of X graph. That's not two seven five. That's uh, going up from three twenty five from fifty. It's two seven five. Okay, sorry about the uh, confusion there, but I look back now. I said this was. Um, uh, 50 over 200. When I look at it more closely, that's not, that's over the point there. So we look at the uh, answer here, which is the correct answer. Uh, that is 275 over the 1000. So that divides in to give you a 0.275 of the slope. Now you could probably find an equivalent fraction, but you can go decimal either, okay? But that's, I have, that's, a, I found the slope. Okay, now explain what the answer to part D1 means about the cost of electricity from bulls. That means it's going, for every unit used, it's going up by 0.275 uh, cents. Okay. Um, or 0.275 of a euro. Actually, it's going up to 27.5 cents. Or 0.275 of a euro. Now, let's do the question 8. Okay, apologies for the hassle there, but I suppose, look, uh, it's very easy to misread a question. I'd like to pretend I did it on purpose, just as a learning opportunity. But, um, these questions are not easy, okay? Although, in fairness, this question here is fairly standard. Um, if you've got an idea of slopes and what their, their meaning is, and basically slope is just the just trying to way of describing the rate of change or something, um, and it's useful in both linear and nonlinear. Now, nonlinear equations, that will be leave insert. You do uh, differentiation and calculus, but you're focused mainly on the linear equations that you insert. And linear equations go up by a set amount every, you know, every time they, they go up. Okay. So the relation between y and x is, is, a, is a constant. Anyway, I'll stop there, okay, and see you maybe on question nine. Thank you.